Honolulu's mayor is calling on the fire commission to ask for a review of the fire department's training and safety procedures in the wake of two accidents in the past few months. His request comes a day after video surfaced of a firefighter falling from a helicopter basket, a rescue basket net, an accident that left him with serious injuries. That accident and the death of a firefighter during a jet ski training in June have sparked allegations that the fire department is not doing enough to address safety concerns for firefighters. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and follows up. Gina? Joe, today I spoke with all sides of an increasingly public dispute between the firefighters union and the fire department. The union tells me management is putting firefighters in even more harm's way than the job usually entails, while others say it's a nationally accredited department with high expectations. Mayor Kurt Caldwell weighed in as witness video revealed the seriousness of this firefighter's fall. Gina, you know the video that you guys showed was very troubling for me. I mean, the good news is the firefighter is out of the hospital and recovering. Um, but I do think more needs to be done. He wants the fire commission to get involved. They need to ask that the fire department review their, their training procedures, um, their safety procedures, to make sure they're up to date and that everything's being done that should be done. The mayor wants to make sure answers are thorough and lessons are learned. The fire commission should make sure that there's a thorough investigation of the incident, either internally or maybe by an outside uh, entity, to see what comes out of that. We have a lot of detailed questions for the chief that are awaiting an answer on this incident. When will we get those? Well, a lot of those detailed uh, questions are uh, going to be covered in the investigation, and we don't want to jeopardize the investigation or uh, anything else by uh, speaking out of turn. The union says they're still waiting for answers on the death of firefighter Cliff Rigsby in June after an injury during rough water rescue training. The fire department and labor department tell me their investigations have not been completed. Meanwhile, the union says training continues with no changes. There were others that sustained the same type of injuries uh, over the past few years that, that um, was bad enough to take them out of work but not bad enough to kill them. The chief did address training at an annual fire department support group award event. He talked about all 1,100 firefighters finishing a ground survival program last year. And then what he called taking it up a notch in 2016 with something called rapid intervention training. If you hear over the radio or a call for help that someone else is needing help or another fire company is in trouble, you have the techniques and skills now to respond and to save that other crew. Everyone from drivers to captains to non-rescue staff were at first expected to go through the very physical program. Ultimately, the department compromised and said people could just observe. We had some guys that went through and still got hurt, and then others that, that said, no, I'm not going to do these particular exercises. The union says there were lots of strains, sprains, and muscle injuries, even one staff that was out of work for a time over claustrophobia from the intense rescue scenarios. The union had tried to block the training through the Hawaii Labor Relations Board, claiming lack of consultation and safety concerns. But it's just one of many labor board matters the union has brought up since this chief came aboard in 2013, four of which the union has later withdrawn. The rapid intervention training case was decided in the city's favor. And cases from 2014 and 2015 are still pending. Whatever it is, allegations they have, they need to stop. Because for me, um, the taxpayers are also paying for all these lawsuits. We're wasting the city resources. We're wasting the city's money just to answer all these allegations. The real problem is that it is unfortunate. Our fire chief is so focused right now on fighting us, fighting the union, that whenever we bring up an issue, uh, the answer is no. But, but Mr. Lee, couldn't the same be said that the union wants to, uh, to fight him as well? No, we're defending what we have because he makes the kind of decisions to take away stuff from us or not recognize us or not recognize what the purpose of the union is. The department, I think, is beat up to the max that it somehow affects the morale in the fire department.
will be at the fire department's press conference tomorrow to ask our detailed list of questions about firefighter training and safety procedures. We'll make sure to follow up and let you know what we find out. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News.